So it's back to school season in our house. That means making sure that some holiday homework is done, mostly at the last minute. Making sure that the uniforms and the shoes fit. Make sure the school bags are packed. We've all of us in our house now got jobs to do to make sure that my two children are ready to start the academic year on Tuesday, or in my son's case, on Wednesday. And I wonder, was wondering if you remember that feeling of going back to school at the end of the summer holidays, or getting other people ready to start a new term. Now I really enjoy the sense of a new year that September gives us. Even for those of us who've left school, there are lots of opportunities to think of like a fresh start, maybe learn a new skill, like, like when we make <coughs> new year's resolutions, perhaps learn a language or do some more exercise. And this also reminds me that even if we've left school, then we can still continue learning. And in fact, if we do, apparently it's really good for our physical and mental health. But what's all this got to do with our gospel reading? Well, it struck me that this morning Jesus is talking in this passage from Luke all about discipleship, what it means to be Jesus' friend and follower. And be really difficult and discouraging. Jesus is talking about hating your family, carrying a cross, giving away everything you've got. Now, I do think the examples that Jesus is using about families and possessions, he's exaggerating those in order to confront the crowds of following him with the main point, the really key issue. And that is that it's God who needs to be the priority in the lives of believers. What I think we're being asked to consider by Jesus is how much do we take our faith into account in our day-to-day -day living? How does our commitment to God on Sunday affect every part of our lives the rest of the week? Who we're prepared to work and live with, how we spend our money and our time. These are all discipleship questions, questions about how we follow Jesus and how we can grow closer to God. Sometimes in the church, I think we're guilty of thinking about discipleship as just going on a course, like preparing for confirmation or going on a Lent or Advent study group. Once we've done the course, then we've done our learning for the year. We know what we need to do. It's a bit like if we're just empty pots and we're just filled up with facts, and every so often we remember what those facts are and then we carry on. But I think real learning is much more complicated than this. And it's never just about memorising the facts. We can learn things with our head, our heart, and through our actions too. Christian discipleship is not just learning about God, but it's growing closer to God, and with God, and with one another in the church too. Now the National Church of England has been thinking hard about this in the Renewal and Reform Programme and more recently in a range of resources called Everyday Faith and I really recommend them, they're really quite good and easy to use. And these resources, this thinking, has stressed that discipleship is never just about learning things with your head in the intellectual, but it's also about action, about doing stuff a way of developing discipleship alongside prayer and study. So action like giving time to community projects, volunteering, engaging with people and situations that we don't usually meet in our day-to-day -day lives, acting with and for the good of others. These are things that help us to encounter God in new ways, to learn more about God and grow closer to him. So thinking through questions such as how much we should give to charity, how to deal with a difficult colleague at work perhaps, how the church building can offer a welcome to all. All these questions do need to be thought about and talked about, but we also need to act on these things too, in the light of our faith, in the light of our conversation with God, and with the teaching in the Bible, and with our tradition. So Jesus' challenges in our Gospel reading are all about helping us to see how important our faith is and how God needs to be central to everything we do in our lives. When something is important to us, we make time for it. 
but we're prepared to give up other things and we give more time and energy to these priorities. Many people sacrifice a lot for their children, for example, spending time nurturing their development, taking them to sports or activity clubs, buying the best they can afford for them, working hard, difficult or even boring jobs in order to provide for their family. It often happens unconsciously, but we show by our actions what we believe. So Jesus is challenging us to be more aware of this and try to practice what we preach. And the opposite way around can be true too. If we practice something, then it can become what we believe. By our actions, we can grow in our discipleship. It's just like we can't just say that we love someone. We need to act in loving ways towards them. And by acting in loving ways towards someone, then our love grows. Of course, in our gospel reading too, Jesus is reminding us that following him is never easy. It can bring us into conflict with other people. They might not understand why we spend time at church helping out after an after school club or a lunch club. Following Jesus might mean we have to give up things that other people take for granted. So Jesus is clear, discipleship has a cost. But if this sounds hard, then we also need to remember that Jesus offers and promises us abundant life too. As we grow deeper into God's love, seek to live out the faith that we've found, we are promised life in all its fullness. So I would invite all of you, not just those going back to school this week, to think about what you're learning and how you are learning, and remember that you are learning all the time. Through our faith, Jesus offers the opportunity for us all to learn more about God, about the world, and about ourselves. In Christ, we can become the people that God has created and called us to be, in body, mind and spirit, connecting faith and action the everyday with God's kingdom. Jesus is always offering us a way of life, a way of love and a way of joy. And he stands and encourages each one of us every day to choose life.